Hey everybody, and welcome to part 10 of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. So, last episode we went on a goddamn gem hunt in Enchanted Towers, and I will be editing that video so you guys won't see the whole 30 minutes that it is. But, let's go to Icy Peak, the Canadian level. No, it's not Canadian because it's cold, it's because of a set of Canadian characters. Icy Peak. Hey sir, what's up? I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing all morning. Why do you sound like Cheech for a bit? And then you sound like an illiterate American. With a weird Canadian Canadian stereotype accent. So actually, we also have to kill these birds that are around here, but this cannon is beautiful. Like, like they really made these cannons in this game so much more awesome with the blasts like this. I don't know why you don't use the cannonball one here, but you don't. Wait, hang on, there's another bird up there. Die, bird brain. Can I actually shoot Bob? Yeah, this game they added the guys who can get injured. Perfect. Okay, what do, hang on, what do we got for this? Find Doug the polar bear, and uh, yeah, that's all we know. So you guys are polar bears, okay. Well, you guys were wondering what the hell these creatures were. Well, you guys got an answer now. I didn't even know they were polar bears, to be honest with you. Let's fly over to Gem Island and collect me booty. Hey, booty. Not very much booty. Eh, oh well, whatever. Boink, 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 boink. Oh, hey, dynamite and. Okay, so apparently dynamite can kill guys in armor, but fire can't. That makes sense. And these things are literally like explosive baskets. That's how you can look at them, you know? Like, guy with ice pick, and guy with snowball cannon. It does kind of remind me of how uh, Ice Cavern or whatever it was called in Spiral 1 was like. You guys remember that Let's Play? Let me know. Weasel. Wait, are you guys weasels or beavers? Oh no, they're beav- they're- I thought they were weasels all this time. They're actually beavers. Goddamn beavers. Justin Beaver. Can you not go on the ice? We actually have to do something. Now, you guys seen that crack in the middle of the ice, right? You have to glide over here and then do this. You have to swim in some ice water. Ice water is really refreshing to drink. Absolutely delicious. Normally, I don't like water, but ice water, if it's if it's fresh and clean, oh man. Best drink ever. And then I know those in Africa or those in poor countries are just happy to have water, and I don't blame you. But we first world people take a lot of things for granted. Including water. Almost went onto the ice, even though I didn't mean to. Here, keep Ah, oh, it instantly kills him if it touches him. Hey, Mr. Beaver. Eh, that beaver is nothing more than a pile of ashes. Man, I absolutely love this game. Are we gonna have? Yep, we're gonna have an enemy. Ah, oh, they actually make sound effects for falling down. That's awesome. What the hell? You know, it would have been funny if we had a Canadian goose, not a mallard duck. Why do you even have a mallard? Like, I know we have mallard ducks, but so does America, and there's an egg up there. Lego my ego. There we go, destroy that. There's also a big chunker dude in there. And some more gems. Pop open. Oh, really? We're going to have to go all the way down there. Because clearly, that gem fell down on the ice. Hey, when that happens. I believe this we can't get to just yet. There should be one more bird, right? One more bird? No more bird? I guess no more bird. There is like a, a firefly in Enter the Dragonfly that's kind of like this, except you're dealing with pterodactyls or something weird like that. You guys are actually coming into the cave. Well, I must stop you so I can at least get to my gems. Boom! Hmm. Every day I'm hustling. 
Oh shit, she's coming this way! Aw, oh, I wanted to kill you too. I wanted uh, two birds, one stone, man. But it didn't work. Two girls, one cup it up, but nope, that didn't work either. That's just nasty. I, I, don't don't watch that video, guys. If you guys are into crazy shit, then go watch it, but I'm not endorsing it. Mainer! Now, what is that egg, technically? I like to know what the eggs are called. On top of a ledge. That's all the information they give you. I believe this game, they also give, the, give you the power to go to levels using your atlas. I believe that's the final power-up for, like, the sparks. So I'm pretty sure the next one is tracking gems, then extra health. And then we got uh, the Atlas one, or maybe the Atlas one is just for beating the, the game. Those guys, you can't actually charge into the snowballs, not like Spiral 1. Those guys, the snowballs will actually kill you. Well, hurt you. Hang on, cuss these. <coughs> Good thing I'm not wearing a headset that actually, you know, I use as a mic, otherwise that would have probably blew your guys' eardrums out. I don't know, I think I'm getting a cold. That might explain why I am, uh, talking funny lately. Or, you know, getting all, uh, phlegmy, like in the last episode. That was crazy. Ah, money bags is back, guys. Just when you thought we were safe to have all our money to ourselves. Nope. That's a lot of green gems. Pretty sure Bob is in there. Or, not Bob, Doug. We're looking for Doug, we're looking for the brother. Are they brothers or best friends? Honestly, don't know. Can I actually destroy that without ground pounding it? That'd be cool if I could destroy it, you know? Get out of the way, fruit fly. Some fruit fly is trying to get in my way. No, we can't even hit it. Okay. Anyways, let's go over to Yonder Island. Not Yondiri Island either. Smashy! Boom! Me lucky smashy! Good, none of you fell off the ledge. Do I seriously have to go down here again? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to get the next part of the, the... Or the first part of the next level in this episode. At least, I hope we will. I got a lot of recording today, so... I'm gonna be working like crazy to bring you guys quality Let's Play material. Oh, hey, money bags. Tip right up, Spyro. Behind this door is the single greatest show on Earth. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. How much? 500 gems? We're not making anything off this level again. I always knew you were a cultured sort of dragon. Well, step right in. The show's about to start. Okay, well, I guess we'll go watch the show. But I'm pretty sure it's not just the show. I'm pretty sure we'll have to do something here, too. One of my favorite soundtracks from the entire game is here. Hey, Polar Bear. Tonight is my big ice dance performance, and these hockey players are ruining it. Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner. Someone courageous and strong and handsome and purple who breathes fire. Hmm. George, is that you? Please help me perform my ice dance. Yeah, so all I have to do is protect her from being hit. It's not the hardest, but it's also annoying because you're on ice, and, well, Spyro's not very good on ice. Yes, feed the Canadian stereotype. I like to see more levels just based on places in the world. I kind of wish they had like Spyro, like the modern world or something, you know, like where levels are like based on America, Canada, China, Mexico, Japan, Korea. It would be like a cool concept. I, I like traveling the world in games. Like, even Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshef of Destruction, as hard as that game is and how trollish it is, there is Canada in it and they're out there to, you know, mine for fossils. Like, it's cool because it's not aiding like this typical stereotype where it's cold and nasty and it's all hockey or going A. Well, one of the guys in there goes A. I think it's just as a joke, you know. But I didn't know Japan fed that stereotype, so... <laughs> it's kind of funny when it's done. But that was it? I swear this was harder or longer than it was. Oh god, that's what she said. I, I apologize right there, guys. I apologize. They came out wrong. We did it. 
That was my best performance ever. I guess one of the judges didn't like it, though. He threw this egg at me instead of a rose. Why don't you have it? Well, because I need the egg. That's probably why they threw it at you. It's probably Hunter or something. Kearney! Do you like kernels of corn? Anyways, let's go. See, that was really easy. That was a lot easier than I was uh, actually anticipating it to be. And now let's go over here. Oh, I see you with your gun. See what I mean? You can't charge at it. Oh, hey, I believe that's the last cannon spot, too. But, ooh, free one up. Before we do anything, let's go down here. There's some... Whoa! Almost fell right off the ledge. All this money right here. But, there is another portal. And I don't believe we have anyone to tell us what to do here. Nope. There are just two thieves. And these thieves are not easy to get. Like, if you're going to spend time on this level, it's going to be here or just exploring, like, the basic level. And there were some gems in there that I have to come back to get. And there are some up there. But I'm too focused on getting this guy for some reason. God damn it. It's so hard to get him sometimes. And they like randomly choose pathways, so you gotta be careful on that too. There we go, we got the first one. Which is Betty Boop! Or Betty and Veronica. I actually neither because neither of them wear glasses. Spectacle. Now this guy's crazy. He gets at, he actually gets the speed boost from this too. So you gotta like take shortcuts in everything to get this guy. And he can take any path he wants. I believe the yellow one has an uh, almost completely set path. Like, there are some changes to it. But this guy does anything he wants, see? Man, at this rate, you're probably wondering how the hell you ever catch this guy in the first place. And I actually found those gems there in the past by accident because I was hugging the wall to catch up to this guy. Remember, I played this when I was little. This game came out in 2000. I was 7 at the time. The guy was still young. My gaming career hadn't even started yet. Like, man, playing Spyro Mario Donkey Kong back then. But the thing is, is that I actually never owned a 64 until I was like 21, I believe is when I actually bought my first N64. I'm only 24, so that was only three years ago. I had to sell it though. Can you stop taking weird turns? There we go, and I just broke the egg by headbutting it. Scout! Yeah, you do the jig, sir. Anyways, let's go get all the gems and stuff in here. God, my nose is all stuffed up. Ooh, gem. I wonder if I can just do it like this. Yep, you can. Perfect. Now... Oh no, I almost died. Now we just have to find the other gems. Where were they again? They were up somewhere, right? Woohoo! So not that way, that's for sure. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. That was weird, I got sucked in. Ooh, secret pathway. Where does this lead me? Oh, this is like some autumn plane shit going on here. You guys remember that level? And I believe that's everything here, so let's leave. Now we only have to get the final egg. Well, final two eggs. Which one we'll get just for being the level and the other one we'll have to backtrack for, but we should be able to get 100% within the next two minutes. Oh, let's let's go do this part first. Like I mean, not the go this way, but just finish everything off out here. Can you die already, bird? There we go. Fire, bird brain. These these gems actually come to me. <laughs> I put up ice blocks this morning so Bob wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try out the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. You've been using an egg? Seriously, dude? Chet! The reindeer? 
That movie wasn't out. Wait, actually, it was. Feel free to use your gondola whenever you want. Whenever you want. As a Canadian, I personally don't say want. But apparently, we do, so. Yay! Hopefully, there's no cutscenes after this level. Well, otherwise, we might not be able to get the next part of the next area in. Ah, oh, there's a little window of opportunity there. Get it? Window of opportunity. More money equals more power. More lives equals more sustainability. And the rest of the gems. I can tell because of the totals. And Rees. I don't know the name for that. And that is 100%. So now we can leave with our 500 gems in total, but this just brought us back to 32, or 33, pardon me, because money bags took everything from us. Yeah. Now we only have one more level to do. Die, Rapidos. Yep, I wanna fuck with you. After record four episodes of Spyro today. It's crazy. Let's go to Bamboo Terrace. Kind of like Terrace Village or whatever it was. In Spyro 1. I guess. Now, this is a cool Asian level. Well, China level. China? Japan. Either way, the game is technically Japanese American made, so. That's an interesting concept. Now you actually have to save all of these panda bears so they help you get places. They'll start to move obstacles and open up pathways and stuff for you to get across. Mm, nothing else here. Soundtrack here is fun. I believe this is the soundtrack that our next buddy will get. Like, you know how Bird always does the same music? and That's what Enchanted Towers was. It was the Sergeant Bird music. That's what it was. You can tell he was gonna have an influence there. I believe this is our next buddy's music though. Which is a lot better than Sergeant Bird's. And Sheila's, well, you guys know that's just overused. <laughs> a crazy overused. And guess what guys? First egg right here. Dwight! Dwight Ross Elementary School, the elementary school I went to in Green Window of the Scotia. Cry baby. Mm, I'm not a fan of Cry Baby, just to let you guys know, so don't ask me about it. Burn! Go blow up! Oh, you guys are opening up the bridge? Thanks. Sweet! I'm gonna start making the thumbnails full screen for this video, for this, this series. I don't know why it's not. Like, it's just hard to make full screen because, you know, I just take footage from the actual video game that I'm playing. Makes it look professional yet unprofessional. Professional, you know what I mean? Wow, another pretty much free egg for Spyro to get in like less than a minute apart. We have Madison from Madison Gardens. Why do you look like a boy? Most of them have like bows to show that they're girls, or they have like, you know, some kind of coloration. But, eh, not these ones. Yeah, crack on the wall. Wow! Is that seriously four lives just for free? Do you think this level's that hard? I only got injured here. I didn't even die. A lot of time you can get knocked off the cliff when getting that second egg, but still. I don't even know if there's any spiral. No, there's actually one spiral mini game here, and it can be a little bit annoying because you can actually fail it by doing what you're trying to stop the enemy from doing. It's kind of annoying. I believe there's also an egg key here. Man, that means there's four eggs actually outside of the mini games. Wow, this game, this level is actually very just spiral oriented. It's a spiral oriental level. Man, I don't like your umbrellas, guys. They're very ugly and feminine for big macho men like you. Boom! And let me guess, yeah, we have to go into the water. Because why not go in the water? Blub blub like a fish. This looks scary, like you're like right next to a waterfall where you can die. Oh, this level actually brings back a concept that was introduced in uh, Spyro 2, but I don't believe we've seen it the entire Let's Play so far. 
So it'll be kind of interesting. So yeah, we have some kind of Yeti guy. His name is Bentley. Yeah, see this vase over here? The mystery vase. We have to bring this thing all the way back to the beginning of the level, and it'll break open into a ton of gems. Generally, I believe 25 gems total on average is what it normally has. We can almost get 100%. I believe there's literally less than 100 gems that we can get in the actual Bentley area. And now it's over by the bridge gas. Bridging the gap. Hey, Mr. Panda. We would be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. You sound like characters from... What character from Spyro 2? I can't remember, but Tom, where's Jerry? Yay, nice somersault there, buddy. Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall open it right away. I don't know why you didn't think of it, but sweet. Now the level connects. This is actually the only level I believe that tells us how like the level connects, or like you know shows us how it connects. And it's like, oh, now this thief pops up because it's like, yo, dude, guess what? You have to kill me. The other way, Mister Mister Rocketeer. God damn you and your speedy Gonzalesness! I just dealt with. This is the third one in this level, guys. Or, I'm third one in this level. Third one in this episode. Man, I should have just killed you. Ugh. You know, it's sad because this blue one is actually harder to get than the yellow and red ones. And red ones are supposed to be the hardest to get in the entire game. Man, like, even taking shortcuts... Doesn't really help you very much in this level. The only way to really catch him off is right here. And fuck a duck. He caught us off guard by doing that. See, he doesn't actually go back the way he came, though. Like, over that one ledge. This jumping actually slows down. Maybe it does. I think just dropping and jumping does that. Well, he was worth 10 gems. Can you... Can you fucking stop it, Mr. Thief? I'm starting to really get tired of you. I, and normally they don't keep running, like, when you're off screen like that. Normally they stop. Oh, he stops in certain spots. I get how you do it. Jesus, Mr. Thief, really? Wait, what was he doing? He slowed right down. Anyways, we have Pee Wee Herman. Goddamn awful show. God, he's even weird looking like him. Now, other than that, let's go and get the, um, the Vaz shit done. And then go do the one minigame that Spyro actually has here. It's annoying, but we have to do it. Okay. Now it's just on the other side. Literally, it didn't even go anywhere. It just moved over here. Literally, just across from itself. Now, in the hallway... Like, I really do love this level, and I kind of wish this level was a little bit bigger than it really is. It feels like it's short. It's going to be, like, less than ten minutes, and then maybe, like, five minutes in the next episode to beat it. Uh, it's behind here, right? Yeah. I wasn't even paying attention to the video. I was just admiring how much I actually like this level. Though, it feels as if this level wasn't really used to its full potential. Five. Oh, this is, like... It was like, what, 45, 50 gems in there? And now we get to go right to the mini game that we need to do, and then we're done this episode. Shoop. So what we do here... Please help us, Spyro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields, but rotten Rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Yeah, we have to shoot uh, fireballs at those evil umbrella guys, but you cannot hit the pandas because if you hit the pandas, you'll actually fail yourself. And the issue with this is, it's first person with with really weird controls, like up and down are inverted, but left and right aren't. Normally when everything's inverted, it's inverted completely, but nope. It's like Donkey Kong Country 3 all over again with its weird ass invertedness. And I hit that guy! I knew I was gonna. I, I knew I should have missed the first guy, but come on, why did you hit the first guy? 
Man, that guy should have died or, or should have killed us already, but. There we go. You're dead. Let me guess. Now we just gotta open up a bunch more bridges. This is definitely bridging the gap. Boom. I hate, though, how your fireballs can actually kill the pandas. Well, they don't really kill them, you just knock them into the water because apparently pandas are some of the most useless creatures in existence. Why the fuck did my fireballs miss? This video is gonna be another, like, half an hour episode. And don't you dare tell me that I failed. I'm Oh my god, he did tell me that I failed. I know, when this cold or whatever I have is getting worse as this episode goes on. Like, of course, the one good thing I'm having a break uh, tomorrow, because I don't think I'm going to be feeling very well to record, you know? Like, god, I'm so glad Slim Kirby had enough videos to freaking make it through his sickness. Like, he's honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. I love Slim Kirby, I love, um, Nufi Bonga. I don't know, Slim Kirby generally always plays games I'm interested in. I love his Mega Man playthroughs. I love his... What? I'm sure. I love his Kirby playthroughs and- Oh god, I just freaking- my knee. I've had it bent because I sit on the floor for too long. And I pulled it to the side and- How the fuck did I fail that though? Everything was going so well, like... You know, I'm just gonna say, fuck you all, die! Probably killed the one and not the other again, right? Because that's how it always is here. That guy, right? Yeah, I think it was that guy. There we go, they're all dead. Right in the face, mofo. <laughs> Get turned! I, I actually don't don't ever want me to say that again because I absolutely hate that shit. I almost failed that. For some reason, hitting these guys isn't as easy as you think it would be. Because your fireballs are angled really weird. Run, little pandas, run, run. Why are you guys going on bridges that way anyway? Oh, you actually hit him that time. Perfect. Thank you. Yay. Please take this shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. Well, that does it for this episode. So we got Rusty. We literally got 100% here for what we could do. So anyways, without further ado, uh, let's leave the level and uh, yeah. That'll be about it. 311. So yeah, there's only 89 gems in the uh, Bentley part. So that's not big at all. With that, we can actually go to the boss of the world. Let's head on over to the Whirly Gig. 